Hey everybody, I hope you can hear me right now because I'm right under a speaker. But I'm here with Julian. Julian, hey guys. Say hi Julian. So uh, Julian is with a company called... Can I show that? Yeah. Okay. Called Homeboy. But you're seeing it backwards now so it looks like Yablim Hop. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> yeah, Jablim Hop. Yeah, it's, it's a German brand, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell me a little bit about what Homebuy does? What kind of uh, areas that you guys are like targeted? Um, yeah, actually, we were founded in 1988. See, um, this guy's famous, he's just shouting out to people all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't even keep the camera on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we got founded in 88 as a skate brand, like inspired of like this big hip-hop scene coming up and it, it developed uh, into the first streetwear brand of the world actually oh wow. wow first streetwear brand yeah it was like the first brand who took uh, coach jackets as like for, street, for the streets yeah and it went viral and like baggy pants we were the first uh, with baggy pants in europe uh -huh. and yeah that made it big all through the 90s like all these hip-hop skate influencing and um then yeah, it broke down uh, 2000, early 2000s. Right. And now then we've been away for like 15 years mm -hmm. and found stuff like two and a half years ago back in the storage, like oh. old stuff. And we were like, dude, that's that's the shit. We're gonna we're gonna get moving. We're gonna get it moving again. Whoa. And um, and, and and so you just basically got this stuff. You took the designs and you basically like yeah. put the fresh brand on it um, and kind of like just that was your inspiration almost. Though. That's the it's thing. It's not like you were just reselling the clothes. It was like inspiration. Yeah, you yeah, nailed yeah. it. You nailed yeah. it. Actually, that's what we do now. We do. We're trying to to keep up the '90s vibe, uh -huh. but we translated into the modern styles you know yeah, like yeah. You, you don't wear these big baggies like over the shoes anymore you right. wear them cropped up yes. like a bit of paper yes. and like we, we we yeah we're keeping the vibe but we're changing the, the like the clothes of it. Like, yeah. we do it modern we interpret it uh, modern you know yeah if I was to like describe what your brand your streetwear brand kind of reminds me of the style Have you ever, are you familiar with the, uh, the UK um, rave band the prodigy Raven Prodigy. The, the Prodigy? No. The, the band? Uh, the band, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what it reminds yeah. me of. It's like something you'd see Leroy Thornhill yeah, in when he's like true. doing the rave in like yeah, one of the early true. 90s stuff. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's what we want to keep. Like, that's why we want to keep the 90s vibes, definitely. Right, right. I think it was a good time, but you just can't wear all this saggy stuff anymore. Yeah. You just, you're just gonna, you just you, you got to mix it together. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like the modern styles with these old vibes, and that's just what we're trying to do. Like, wow. the modern streetwear. Sorry, We've got a guest. We've a guest in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta get me one of those yeah, kind of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a famous vlog from Iceland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is a famous vlog from Ireland. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, good people. Yeah. Yeah. So can you give us an example? So like, we've got the hats, right? So they look pretty cool. Um, can you give us an example of some of the clothing? Yeah, of course. Let me. Uh, I mean, if you start by the hats, like these these fat caps, like we, uh -huh. we took the design from the early '90s, and it's like this pretty leisure dad thing, which is which is popular at the moment. Right. And we mix it up with the old designs, new shapes, mm -hmm. and um, like even these things. Like okay, like the, the t-shirts. The oversize, we just do it. We do it oversize, uh -huh. and instead of like printing it huge on the front you do like a small streetwear style okay. print on the in the front in the middle and a big one ah. on the uh, that's all it's almost kind of like a uh, biker gear or something there like uh, you'd see yeah, a biker yeah, jacket yeah, you know, yeah. little like logo and then the big, yeah, big that's logo the club, yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy club yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sons of berlin <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. and as well the the baggy jeans i mean can, oh, all right can I Okay, baggy jeans. Oh, this, this definitely isn't my thing, but I'm, I'm interested to learn. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. You gotta get used to it. Yeah. So we've got the sides from back in the days, and they're pretty loose, as you can see. But you just roll them ah. up to wear them cropped. You know, you okay. roll them up, wear them cropped, and they're a bit they're a bit tapered, so you can see your sneaker. Right. And yeah, you 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 don't wear these saggy saggy stuff like hanging on the floor. It's okay. Like you can see your sneaker and your socks. Mm. But it's still loose. 
So yeah, that's what I we're trying that's to do. that's pretty comfortable for like if you're in a nightclub and you're wanting to bust a move. It like, is. Yeah. I went partying with these uh, things like the two, three day last night. Yeah, yeah. And it is comfortable. You got yeah. you get for radical movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like MC Hammer going yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! We got some of the moves right now. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Julian, thank you very much for yeah, giving me uh, a nice little bit of an you. interview. And for everybody back home in Ireland, um, look out for home boy. You're selling right now into um, like mostly mainland Europe, right? Yeah, um, Europe. Yeah, yeah. But check them out. You've got an online store, right? We do have an online store. Yeah, okay. check it out. We've got uh, Instagram homeboy.official and uh, online homeboy.eu, like for Europe. All right. Sweet, sweet. All right. Well, thank you very much, Julian. Thank and, you, guys. Uh, peace out. Mm-hmm.